Hey, what's up YouTube? So if you've been watching anime online, trying to get it into MPV, you know that subtitles don't always match up. So here's a quick way on how to do it, and I'll go ahead and give you a short demonstration on what I mean. So let's take this short clip. I have Nisekoi and I have dragged the subtitles file into the video, and watch what happens when I play it. As you might have seen, the subtitles was quite a ways off, and so in order to fix that, what you normally do is click Z or X to solve that problem. But there's actually an easier way to do that instead of having to adjust it for each video. But here's the quick shortcut. If you set a input command to P, as you can see, those subtitles matched perfectly with the audio of the video. And so I'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial today. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty short and simple, but you have to follow step by step and it'll be easier that way. So what you want to do first is have a file explorer open and you want to type in the top app data, no, percent app data percent. That's going to bring you to your roaming and you're going to double click into MPV and this is where you're going to be and then you're going to go into your scripts folder. I have a folder for when I do videos so I'm going to go ahead and enter my mock MPV folder and what you should have is an mpv.config and then a scripts folder. Your scripts folder might have scripts or not. In my case there are none in there. What you want to do first is open up this um, page right here. I'll have it down below in the in the description. It is the MPV player for uh, the input configuration. This allows you to adjust and change keys to scripts that you might want. And so what you have to do is um, go ahead and go into click raw here. And then you want to right click, save as, and you want to go down um, back to where your folder is. App data percent, app data percent, MPV, and then this one is gonna go outside of your scripts folder. So don't save it in the scripts folder, save it outside where your um, MPV configuration is. The file name, you wanna make sure it's input.config, which is C O N F, and click enter. And you'll see that it downloads here, and you'll see that it appears on the bottom right here. So now you have a configuration file. And this is what we're going to use for the script we're going to use. The next thing that you have to do is go to this GitHub page here. This one's going to be down below in the description as well. And what we want to take from here is the cycle profile Lua. So click into that. Go ahead, go into raw, right click it, save as, go into your scripts folder for this one and make sure the file name is cycle profile.lua. And so that gives you the cycle profile.lua in your scripts folder. So if you followed along and everything is as it should be, you should have an mpv.configuration, an input.configuration, and a scripts lua folder, uh, lua file inside of the scripts folder. So now that you have this here, that is all you need for the profile that is your Lua script. What you will need to edit is your MPV configuration and input configuration. So the first thing we're going to do is go into mpv.configuration. Depending on how yours is configured, it will look different than mine. And so here is what we have for our profile configurations. As you see, I have some animes here already. And so this is demonstrating that you can use it profile switching for multiple animes, but I'm going to show you how you can add one to this list. So as you can see here, what these are are called square brackets. It should be on the right hand side of your keyboard. And in order to insert a new profile, all you have to do is create is a do a left bracket, a right bracket. And inside of that, you want to name what the profile name is going to be. Normally for me, since I watch anime, I do the name of my anime, in this case, Nisekoi. Okay, so now that we have this profile set, what you want to do is find that sub delay that you had for the anime and input it into here. I know through trial and error that the sub delay for Nisekoi was negative 1. And so I'm going to put negative 1.0 in here. 
I'll show you how you can find that sub delay later on in the video once we have everything working. So go ahead and right click file here and save. You now have the Nisekoi or the, the profile set for your content in your mpv.config. Go ahead, exit out of that. The next thing you want to go into is your input.config. And so here are all of your MPV keybinds that um, MPV uses to, you know, keybind for your keybinds. And so what you need to scroll down to is P or whatever, um, whatever key you want to use for toggling through profiles. I chose the lowercase P just because P stands for profile in my eyes and so that is going to be about the middle where I am here um, where it says toggle pause playback so this if you have this hashtag in front of the line that means it's a comment and it won't be used so what you want to do is we're going to take that one out what I like to do if I'm editing these and I'm just using one so I can find it easier later on I'll put spaces or line enters between the two. So what you want to do here is delete that hashtag, delete this comment, and you're going to be left with, um, and delete all of this, and you're going to be le left with just P. All right, so what you want to do is type in script message, and then you want to type in the name of that scripts that we're using. So in our case, we're using cycle profile, profile. And for cycle profile, the way it's written is that it's going to read whatever is inside of the quotations. And so we're going to do two quotes here, do a couple of spaces, actually take it back. No spaces, just two quotes inside of here. You're just going to type in the name of the profile. So I always like to have a default profile that is set to zero. And then um, I want a second one in here. So that one is called Nisekoi. So these are the two profiles that I'm going to show when I do the um, MPV. And that is all you need for your input.configuration file. Go ahead, go up to, up to file, save, and you should be good to go. And if you got everything there, your MPV configuration file should be set with your subtitle delay and your input configuration file should be set with your um, keybind P as the profiles that you want and whatever settings they have. And if you are curious, yes, this does work for other settings other than sub delay. Say if you want to play different fonts and whatnot, I haven't played around with that, but it's going to be the same as setting your configuration files. And so now what I want to show you how to do is how to get the subtitle um, delay correct in your anime or your content. And this will be a short demonstration on how I usually do it and it gets me where I need to. So once you have the subtitles loaded into your MPV program, what you want to do is go to a line that you actually know what the Japanese is for. In this case, the line starts with Kanojo. And so um, when I go, uh, the easiest shortcut to go between subtitles is control and right and left. So in this case, what I'm going to do is do control forward, uh, right arrow, and that's going to bring me to the next line. And then what I want to do is control left, and that'll bring me back to the last line, the previous one I want to get the subtitle timing for. And so I'll just play it through. <laughs> And so you see that was way off. And so what I'm going to do is go back and it looks like I need to delay the sub. Um, let's say I think it's negative six. I'm going to play it again. And so that one still needs to be delayed a little bit more. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and delay it even more. And so that sounds pretty good, and I'm just going to mark what subtitle delay that was. In my case, it's negative 1000 milliseconds. And the way you cycle between those is the lowercase z and x on your keyboard. 
And so that's how I got the subtitle timing for this anime. And you can do the same with any subtitles that you might have. Say for example, um, I know Funimation does things where it's like has the advertisements at the beginning and the subtitles might be different. So when you put it in the configuration file, it might be something like negative 10. Um, and if you're if it's slower, you can do positive 10 or whatever does it that for your anime or your content is how you do that. And so with that out of the way, you should have everything up and running. All you need to do is click P and that'll go through your subtitle delay files um, or your profiles and set it to what you need. And hopefully that helps someone out today for getting profiles set up in MPV and changing them. If you had any technical difficulties, please leave a comment down below and let me know what it is. I'm always here to help and give the information that I that I find to everyone out there in their studies. So as always, good luck on your studies out there and I'll catch you later for another video. See you later.